Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Today, I have the pleasure of bringing you a preview of an upcoming release from Fine, and that is Fine Aquamarine, a collaboration with West Coast Shaving. So before we get into the shave, let me show you what I'll be using today. First up, my brush has been soaking, and that is a brush from Grizzly Bay. You can see right there, the coin. To go along with the vintage theme of today's shave, I've chosen the Chic Type I Injector Razor. I know there's some huge fans of the injector type razors. I don't think I've used too many on camera, so I thought it'd be a good time to bust one out for today. And in terms of post shave, we have the matching Aquamarine Splash. And I'll also be using uh, this kind of sample size of the Zingari Aftershave Balm, Unscented. So you can see uh, the fine soaps now come in a plastic tub. It's kind of a small plastic tub. It's not flush, the, the soap puck is not flush against it. Um, I've used this a few times in testing, and so it's kind of adhered to the tub now. But initially when you pick it up, it does kind of rattle around a little bit. Not really a big deal. Uh, you can also see faintly here that there is the kind of stamped in you know, logo around the soap itself. It's a very, it's triple milled, so it's a very, very firm soap. So I'll probably be going for, instead of a 30 second load, I think I might just go for a full minute and I, we can chat about uh, a little bit more behind um, this soap while I do so. All right, so what can I tell you about the soap while I am loading? Uh, this of note is the first non-dupe, non-clone scent that Fine has done. This is also the first collaboration, um, perhaps barring an early relationship with Razor Rock up in Canada um, that Fine has done. So this exclusive scent was provided for on West Coast Shaving's end. And for those less familiar with the Fine soap, um, it is based on the same soap base as Tabac a very popular shave soap um, originating from Germany. And uh, as I mentioned before, it's a triple milled soap, very, very firm uh, compared to the American artisan soaps that I think a lot of you are used to using. And just to show you, it does get a little messy. It's not a huge diameter, so you might have some soap spilling out. I've also seen folks just take the puck in hand and you know just lather from that or you can transfer to a larger jar or bowl of your choice. All right, so I've wet my face and I'm gonna start building the face lather. Now the main thing I wanna cover really is the scent on this, which just right off the bat, I would say I really enjoy the scent on Aquamarine. So the official scent notes on Aquamarine include lemon, sweet orange, rosemary, algae, oak moss, driftwood, amber, and musk. So I will say that off the tub, this soap comes off much more aquatic um, as far as like the salty sea air and maybe a hint of sweetness. But upon lathering, this turns into an all citrus show. So that lemon, sweet orange, the citrus is blend blended really well together. Some citrus scents can come off as artificial or even, even kind of um, be likened to some cleaning products, just cause you know, a lot of times you'll find Pledge or Lysol or whatever has scents of lemon or other citrus. This one's a very natural uh, smelling citrus and really just enjoyable. All right, so the lather's looking good. Let me get into the first pass after I rinse off my hands. All right, so the first pass is done, no issues, you know, easy peasy. And I forgot to mention that I have two days of beard growth, so just so you know what I'm starting off with. And I also want to read for you, uh, besides the official scent notes, kind of the description behind the scent. And that is, 
Aquamarine evokes the carefree feeling of relaxing seaside under a warm sun, accompanied only by the rhythmic sound of the surf. So this is definitely, you know, going for that sunny outdoors feel, uh, spring if not summer, uh, and I think this scent definitely captures, you know, kind of what it's going out for. It's a really well-blended scent that, again, has that wonderful citrus at the top, but the background players definitely are you know, playing their role at, in completing the scent. So the algae, the driftwood, you know, things that are kind of evoking the ocean, salty sea air, uh, a little bit of outdoorsy, like beachiness, but um, this could also be just worn casually. A nice scent that if you're just hanging out with friends, going about your day, kind of in the office even, I think this might be a nice pick-me-up as it's a very nice, bright, kind of happy scent. So anyhow, let me get lathering for the second pass. All right, so the against the grain pass, no problems there either. So just a little more info uh, I forgot to mention is that the scent strength is about, I say five out of 10, maybe six out of 10. So kind of right in the middle. Uh, that's both off the tub and upon lathering. So the scent does tweak a little bit, uh, change a little bit upon lathering, but the scent strength remains uh, relatively the same. All right, so we'll finish up the shave with the matching splash and Fine does have some great aftershaves. I think that the, the scenting, um, given that they're all, you know, dupes of existing scents, you know, whether it be uh, cologne scents or just other scents that are enjoyed in wet shaving, uh, they do it really well. The aftershave itself, the formula rather, is very simple and straightforward. Mm, that's and that includes alcohol, water, fragrance, and menthol. So very, you know, very old, old school as far as what's providing a little bit of burn from the alcohol, and then kind of some instant cooling from the menthol. As I mentioned before, I'm gonna finish off also with the Zingari Man Unscented Aftershave Balm. I did find that the soap splash combo from Fine can sometimes leave my skin feeling uh, a little bit tight and especially in the winter, you know, it needs just a little extra help as far as moisture. So I think finishing up with your favorite balm or lotion would be a uh, good idea. The Zingari Man Balm is one of my favorites, so kind of once the sample size is done, I definitely have my eyes set on picking up a full bottle. So again, I've been shaving today with Fine Aquamarine. And so this is exclusive at West Coast Shaving and it's gonna drop on Sunday, March 1st. So if it sounded good to you, uh, my description of the scent, or if you just love fine soaps and aftershaves, uh, I definitely would recommend picking this one up. Thank you guys for your time and watching today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.